Let's walk through indicators and strategies and how to add them to your chart, where to find them, and what they mean. So indicators and strategies are how you analyze price action, volatility, risk and reward, and just general market movement. Perhaps you're looking for the best setup, the best entry, or the best exit. Indicators and strategies can help you. So if you watch what we're doing here, we are going to the top of our chart where it says indicators and we're clicking. Another way you can get to the indicators and strategies menu is by pressing slash on the keyboard. So we press slash and it instantly appears. So let's just dive right into it. I mean, this is a daily chart of Euro USD and we can do this for any chart. So let's say we wanted to look at Apple just a simple chart of Apple daily and we want to add some indicators to it we head up to our indicators and we click and now we're at the indicators and strategies menu if we know exactly what indicator or strategy we want we type it in so in this case let's go to Bollinger Bands and as you can see just by searching we now have the option to go through every indicator and strategy that is related to Bollinger Bands so we click and just like that, it's added to our chart. Once it's added to our chart, we can make adjustments. So as you can see, the indicator is shown here, top left. And if you press the settings wheel, you can now start to change the indicator so that it's more to your liking or customize it to your needs. You'll see some interesting inputs, style, and other options so that it is to your uh, look to your feel and also is calculating in a way that you want so you can see this is the Bollinger Band so there's things like standard deviation which are essential to Bollinger Bands and if you go to style you can make this indicator look any way you want by changing the colors uh, and just by making adjustments that make sense to you for example you see that see it's getting darker maybe we actually want this to be yellow so just like that we can adjust its color and look so let's go back to the indicators menu so that we can give you a walkthrough of everything that's going on here and there is quite a bit to get to so stick with us the first thing happening in the menu is built-ins built-ins are technical analysis indicators and strategies that go back into the history of trading and investing they are indicators ideas and strategies that really are the foundation they are the things that everyone uses or some of the early earliest inventions in this field of price action and studying why price is moving the way it is. For example, moving average. We click and it's added and that is a built-in indicator on the TradingView platform. So now you can see this blue line. Why don't we make this line orange? Let's change it to a 50-day moving average and just like that we have a 50-day moving average on our chart. And as you saw, it's in the built-in section. These are indicators that are the foundation of price action, studying charts, technical analysis, and they're all right here as built-ins. Next up is candlestick patterns. Candlestick patterns are a way to instantly detect specific candlestick patterns on your chart. So watch this. We click Doji, and what happens is it instantly detected multiple doji candles on the chart. So candlesticks are a form of a chart and how it looks. You can have a bars chart, hollow candles, line chart, uh, an area chart. But for this example, candles, because these are candlestick patterns. So in in technical analysis in the study of candles over time traders and investors have given specific candles certain names and then given those candles a definition for example we added doji to our chart and if you go here to the question mark and click you can learn about what a doji is and how it looks additionally when you add a candlestick pattern to your chart you can hover the mouse over that candlestick pattern and get a description about it. So that's candlestick patterns, which by the way, we did show something really important here. In all of these menus, for example, built-ins, there is a little description area, show description, and it is shown with this question mark icon. Just click it 
and you can learn about that indicator or strategy. This is a really effective way to learn more about markets and to learn as you go. Maybe there's something you've never heard of before or you're really interested in. And for example, Bollinger Bands, you can click this show description button and dive in. And you can sometimes get a complete history, as you can see, created by John Bollinger in the early 1980s. So that's an important thing to show you. And one more while we're at it, if you look, there is a favorites button. It has a star icon. Watch what happens when we click this star icon. So you can see a new menu opened for our favorites. And that means if there are certain indicators or strategies that we love, we can just add them to our favorites with one simple click on the star icon. And now when we go to our favorites menu, it's all here perfectly shown alphabetical order and we know where our favorite indicators and strategies are at all times check it out let's open indicators and strategies favorites okay we've gone through built-ins we've gone through candlestick patterns we've shown you how to add specific indicators or strategies to your favorites we've shown you how to learn more about these indicators or strategies by clicking the question mark icon now let's dive into the public library this is so 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 important the public library is found in the indicators and strategies menu you can see it's right here and what it shows is all of the new interesting custom and unique indicators and strategies coded up by people within the trading view community so let's have a look as you can see we scroll down okay chris moody has three indicators and strategies in this public library these are coded by him using pine script they are unique they can't be found anywhere else and this is potentially the future of indicators and strategies a community of people working together to create the best indicators for their charting needs or trading needs so let's add the cm slingshot system to our chart just by clicking we'll also add it to our favorites and as you can see we now have the slingshot system on our chart this is a custom created indicator by chris moody and that is really cool because if the built-ins, right, if these built-ins are the, uh, the history of chart analysis, price analysis, technical analysis, the public library is where we're going next. It's a community of traders and investors working together to create their own indicators and strategies never before seen, built on PineScript and accessible right here. For example, this one's called Super Trend. Let's add Super Trend to our chart. So we'll hide the slingshot system, and now we have Super Trend, which is showing us trends of when to buy or when to sell. Really, really interesting. And as you can see, the public library is massive. There are over 100,000 custom coded indicators and strategies in this public library, which, by the way, you can see the author's name. Lazy Bear, Chris Moody. You can see how many likes they've gotten. And you can also read about the indicator. So if you're interested in learning more about the squeeze momentum indicator, you can hover over it, go over here to read more and click. If you want to examine the source code, that's right. Let's say you're a coder yourself and you find an indicator in the public library that's interesting. If you hover over the source code icon here and click, you can now see the source code behind that indicator. This is super unique because now you can learn about the actual math of the indicator. You can see what goes into it, what the code says, and then the output, of course, is what you see on the chart. This is the next level here of understanding how indicators work. You can, in the public library, examine the source code for each indicator here. Let's now move on. And by the way, the public library is so interesting. And we're going to make another video on this down the road to highlight all the unique ways you can use the public library, get your own indicators in there, or possibly just meet the authors behind these indicators.
Okay, let's move down. My scripts. If you create your own indicators or strategies using PineScript, which we've now mentioned, and by the way, PineScript is our custom language. So if you remember, we went to the Squeeze Momentum Indicator, click Source Code. This source code is written in PineScript. That is the custom script for TradingView. This is how the charts display these indicators or strategies. They are coded in PineScript. You can see Pine Editor. And you can open and close your Pine Editor at the bottom of your chart right here just by clicking and it will open. And as you've noticed, we can adjust the size of our Pine Editor and it works just like any other uh, coding platform where you can just simply type and create the lines of code that you need to generate the indicator or script that you're looking to create. Okay, so we were at the My Scripts section. The My Scripts section is where you can find the scripts that you've coded or created using PineScript. As you can see, we have a Let It Snow script, Stars, Volatility Stop, Volatility MTF. Additionally, these are our scripts, easily accessible right here. You can also find them in the public library. But for those who code up their own scripts often, they can always just come right here to my scripts in the indicators and strategies menu and instantly locate them. Let's now look at volume profile. As you can see, we're nearing the end here. There's invite only scripts, but let's just stick to volume profile at the moment. Volume profile are some built in indicators and strategies for examining volume. Super powerful. You want to see where volume is and how that relates to price. So a lot of traditional people or platforms will simply just look at volume. So as you can see, let's hide volume profile. You have the price here and you have volume below it. But that doesn't actually tell you the whole picture because check this out. When we show the volume profile, we're now seeing how much volume traded at a specific price, right? So this red line means point of control. And as you can see, these are the volume bars. There was a ton of trading volume in at this exact price of $80, $79, $80. And it took place at these two moments in Apple's history. So volume profiles are another way to examine price action and volume at the same time. Remember, you can find your volume profiles down here and you have fixed range, session volume, session volume HD, and visible range. And once again, press the star to add them to your favorites. And you can read more about them by clicking the question mark to show its description. Okay, wrapping up, next up is invite-only scripts. So invite-only scripts are scripts that are coded by traders and investors who actually keep them almost hidden. They're invite only. They're not in the public library. They're not easily accessible. You actually have to be invited to see them. So this is just a test script to show you how it would look. But essentially, if someone created a custom indicator or strategy, and they believe that this indicator, indicator or strategy is the best of the best, they will probably keep it invite only and only let certain people see it. And if you have invite only scripts, if people have invited you to these scripts, you'll see them here and you can use them from this part of the menu. So we hope that this walkthrough helped and that we went through strategies and indicators on TradingView. Most importantly, we just wanted to show you all of the options to you in this menu. So all of the different things you can take advantage of, how you can create favorites, how you can read more about the indicator description, and also how in the public library you can view source code, meet the authors, and just have fun browsing through the public library that has over 100,000 indicators and strategies in it. So we hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped. By the way, if there's one piece of advice that we can leave you with, it's open a chart. Make sure you're logged into your account and open a chart. Head to the indicators and strategies, strategies menu and have some fun. There is no better way to learn about what's going on in markets, how traders use specific indicators, how investors are using certain strategies, than just diving in, adding them to your chart, and studying them. Another key thing is taking advantage of the ability to simply 
hover your mouse over an indicator or strategy, click in the question mark, and learning more about them. This is the best way to learn about what's going on in markets, and it's totally available to you on TradingView. So we hope that this video helped and that you can get started immediately with indicators and strategies. And by the way, there is no shortage of possibilities and combinations. You can add tons of indicators to your chart. You can explore the public library. You can follow authors. You can like their scripts. And as we showed you earlier, just by hovering over that indicator strategy, clicking on the settings wheel, you can make adjustments that fit your needs. You can change the color, the calculation, and just specific dimensions about any indicator or strategy. Lastly, there is the Pine Editor. If you're really interested in learning more about coding your own indicator or strategy, you can always go examine the source code for specific indicators or strategies. Now what we just showed you there is we tried to click the source code for the volume profile. As you can see though, it doesn't work for every indicator or strategy, but hey, you can click the source code to see and to examine it. And if it doesn't work, you can move on to the next or simply use the settings to make the adjustments you need. And just as one more example, with built-in indicators and strategies, sometimes you will be able to examine the source code. So for example, we can go to Bollinger Bands, click source code, and there it is, the basics of the Bollinger Bands and as they're displayed on this chart. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing how you use indicators and strategies. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any feedback, you can also leave those in the comments and be on the lookout for some future videos. We are going to go through in future videos each of these in more detail. So we'll start to actually break down what these mean and how to use them in video format. For example, if you wanted to use the Connors RSI, we'll make a video about that. Or if you want to understand how to use the public library and meet authors and create your own script, we have a video coming about that as well. Thanks for watching.